Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, quick and easy, nice looking bracelet. It doesn't require any ends to it. Uh, it'll hold up pretty, pretty well. Slip it on your arm, take it off, right back to its original size. Um, so, I'm going to be making you one of a different color. Uh, the color I chose out today, some of these beads right here. Uh, they're in a package. Yes, I made them on my own. I just, after I finished some, I put them in little bags. Pretty convenient. But we're going to be needing these. I'm going to be using some smaller, smaller beads. As you can see right there. Uh, we're going to need some scissors to cut the cord. Maybe some of these other little pliers to pick up the smaller beads. Uh, and some glue, which I chose is E6000. It does a great job, but you need a lot of ventilation. So, I've already pre cut my cord, which is, hope you can see, but it's 10 inches long. So, First, I'm going to start out lay them out here so I can get a hold of them. I've got pretty big hands, so just start. Start your bead, put it on a big one, then they're small, just keep repeat. Just do this all the way down. get uh, your stopping point I made these, a lot of these bracelets at, at Christmas time. They're, they're a good gift to give to your relatives. Like me, I got a lot of nieces and cousins. So it's great to give them something that you made on your own. And you can see some other videos that I've posted on YouTube. So, 
I hope you will get over and watch some of the videos that I got there. I'll be putting more and more as I go along. You can use whatever cord you want, but I find this, you know, stretchy. Compared to the other ones that don't stretch, you would have to put a closure on it. Okay, that's a, bit, a little bit more and I'll be finished as long as I don't let the beads fall off the other side. So I think that's about it. So now, let me take one of these off. So now I'm going to make a knot. Simple. Now, what you want to do is one more knot, but you go under and then under again, then pull. Stretch it. Oh, there. It keeps it from coming off or pulling out. So it stretches right back. See, and then you're just going to trim off after you put on the, the E6000. Like I say, it's this is some good adhesive, but it smells. Just take a little bit, apply it there, and when it's done drying, like in 24 to 72 hours, that's what the directions say on this. You just trim off the ends and start wearing your new bracelet. I hope you like this tutorial and please uh, visit some of my other videos that I have on YouTube and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching.